Engineering Communications spoke with Dr. Venkat Narayanaswamy to learn more about NC State's new hypersonic wind tunnel. My name is Professor Venkat Narayanaswamy. Uh, I've been a, a professor at NC State since 2012. And uh, I, my expertise in, is in high-speed aerodynamics, aerothermodynamics, and high-speed propulsion. And uh, I teach the courses that is relevant to these domains. And uh, mechanical and aerospace engineering department as such is a very unique department that brings in a diverse people with unique expertises. Uh, we have combined mechanical and aerospace engineering program, which is mutually augments each other's uh, teaching and research experiences. What is a hypersonic wind tunnel? Wind tunnel is a passage through which we flow a gaseous medium, which is typically air. And uh, these wind tunnels have been in existence starting from 1920s. And uh, the, the, uh, the air that is flown in uh, could be of any different, any velocity, starting from very low velocities all the way to very high velocities. And uh, these are characterized in terms of the speed in relation to the speed of sound. And the hypersonic wind tunnel is when the uh, airspeed exceeds the speed of sound by several factors, typically five or more. And the unique aspect of these speeds is that beyond uh, at the hypersonic regime, you have a lot of air friction that heats up the gas around the vehicle and that ionizes the air, dissociates the air, and this is what we call chemically reacting air. And this chemical reaction is a hallmark for hypersonic uh, flow. And the hypersonic wind tunnel is one where we access these speed range when we subject the test articles to these kind of uh, extreme environments. How fast is hypersonic speed? A hypersonic vehicle, typically the lower limit is uh, 3,000 miles an hour, roughly. And it can go all the way to um, like uh, much, much greater than 3,000 miles an hour, off the order uh, 10,000 miles an hour. If, if we really come up to the technology demands, it typically takes 40 minutes from here to Charlotte. Uh, when I travel hypersonic, it's going to take eight minutes. So that is the speed we are looking at. And if I travel from New York to London, uh, instead of six hours, we are looking close to an hour and a half. What makes NC State's hypersonic wind tunnel unique from others? What makes this unique is the geographical location and some of its uh, performance features. So geographically speaking, there are very few hypersonic wind tunnels in uh, Southeast USA, and, and a lot of those wind tunnels are what are called impulse facilities. What it means is that you get the hypersonic flows for a fraction of a second. Uh, and what we have built here is the, one of the first, or if it is the first uh, and unique only available wind tunnel facility that can provide hypersonic speeds over several seconds of test times. And this is the only facility in the Southeast USA that can do such long duration hypersonic flow uh, test facility. The other unique aspect is that we have is an innovation where the heat of the air to emulate the temperature conditions that the vehicle experiences at hypersonic conditions. So we um, uh, heat up our airflow to about 800 centigrade, which is uh, about half the temperature that the vehicle is going to experience in a true hypersonic flight. What are some examples of the types of breakthroughs this facility will produce? The test facility provides an extreme environment. So we have many materials that are candidates to have extreme testing. So we need materials that can undergo the thermal loads and mechanical loads that the vehicles endure. And this facility could be one such facility that could be used for advanced material technologies. When you come to aerodynamics and, um, and air cream propulsion, we, in our facility, we provide a unique environment which can access a more realistic condition that are experienced by these vehicle. So that way we can subject the test articles and the test samples to the actual condition or approaching the actual condition that a true vehicle will be approaching 
in that way, we can definitely uh, have a lot of de-risking that could be done as we transfer the technologies from basic research to uh, higher technologies and developmental activities. What types of materials will be tested in the tunnel? At, at the temperatures we are running our facilities in, uh, aluminum would melt, copper would melt. So what we are looking at a minimum is titanium, but we have gone much beyond titanium. We are looking at ceramics and ceramic materials that are also functional ceramics and polymer derived ceramics. These are more uh, exotic materials that can do multiple functionalities, uh, which includes making a skin, but also they can be made to serve multiple functions. The question is if these materials are going to endure the loads and the uh, stresses that are being subject to at these hypervelocities. And this facility will make sure that we subject these materials to realistic conditions. And we also test their functionalities at, their, at the set point conditions that are very relevant to hypersonic technologies. NC State has several wind tunnels, a hypersonic tunnel, a supersonic tunnel, and a subsonic tunnel, all located in the MIE West Annex. What is the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering's long-term vision for research using these facilities? Aerospace in North Carolina State has an enduring legacy starting from Professor Hassan uh, who recently passed away and who was a stalwart of hypersonic technologies and aerospace community in general. And we had the first uh, Mars Center, which was the first ever center that a university had in the US. And at, at, in 1990s, we had 30% of our graduates in, in NASA Langley. Currently, that number is close to 15% of the NASA scientists and researchers are from NC State. So we have an enduring legacy of contributing to aerospace engineering in general and hypersonics and, high, and aerodynamics in particular. And we want to become or we want to be and continue to be a leader in high speed transportation. The other big push we are looking for is creating high skilled workforce who can work in these high, in hypersonic technologies, which this facility would uniquely provide by providing all the experience with uh, the tools that go in, the data analytics that goes in, and, uh, and, and all the uh, physical understanding they get with uh, the various processes, complex processes that occur. By doing that, we are instilling in the students a very unique but very high skill that is going to take them to once again further the frontiers of the vehicle technology. By and large, we want NC State to have a much greater footprint than it already has in the high hypersonic uh, technology, both within the country and also in an international stage. <laughs>